are over the age of 35, stop everything you're doing right now. After a lifetime of eating fatty foods, you may run the risks of a stroke or heart attack due to plaque buildup in your veins and arteries. To learn how you can reduce your risks, visit youthfountainlab.com or call 1-800-853-7856 today. This may be a life-changing call for you or someone you love. Thank you, and we hope to hear from you. Hello fam, welcome back to the African Diaspora News Insider. I am Ungel Zalal and bringing you the story. Zimbabwe's tobacco farmers are pleading with the authorities for a better deal. The farmers have been begging the authorities for a while now, but now it's getting too much uh, for them because of the payment that they are being given. Um, usually when they're being paid, 60% of the payment is given to them uh, using US dollars and 40% using Zim dollar. So um, the issue is, with that is the Zim dollar it fluctuates depending on black market um, at that day's exchange rate so they might be told I'm paying you 1,000 they take that 1,000 in Zim dollar and when they change it the price goes down so that means they're being paid less than what they're putting in their farms and what they're putting in in the crops and the machines and everything and so I find it really disheartening because they work hard it's not like this people are bums this are, it's this this are not people that are like begging for money they're actually doing the what they're supposed to do they're working hard they're farmers you know they have crops they go out there plant and nurture the plants till they get to that place well okay a side note i'm not a fan of tobacco or anything but at the end of the day they need to make a living and that's what they chose to do and that's people there is a demand at the end of the day there are people that consume that right so when these people are working hard to get that product and when they're selling it in auction they're always going to get the bad deal and why is that why should they why should they suffer when they're hard-working citizens taxpayers of that country so I find that really sad because it doesn't encourage the next generation. It doesn't encourage the farmer's kids in the future to go on and pursue their own thing. Because why? Because you put in work, you invest, you spend money buying crops, uh, whatever you need, the truck and everything. And then when you go out to sell it, you don't get money for it. You actually lost. You don't get profit. So how much does that suck? It must really suck. And they're actually pleading, you know, to get what they deserve. They're not asking for aid for money like these governments are asking left and right. They're actually asking to be to be paid what they're worth. You know, it's not like tobacco. We know the demand is out there for tobacco and probably that whatever they're selling is probably being sold as a premium product packaged, looked pretty. And uh, those big manufacturing companies and, you know, big labels are getting the money from these people and these people are not getting anything. They're actually losing instead of profiting. So the way it's set up is just it's just ridiculous and sad. So they're not even asking for much, by the way. They're asking at least give us our money, 70% of it in US dollar and 30% of it in Zim dollar. And they're saying at least pay us faster because they had to wait. Like after they even deliver, they're not going to be paid for a period of time that they have to wait. They have to beg for them to be paid for their own product that they grew and came and sold uh, to that place. So yeah, um, what's ridiculous is us knowing that it is tobacco is a highly consumed product and people still use it people still smoke <laughs> so what do you mean what do you mean by this guy's price keeps going down it does not make sense if anything it should go up if anything this this guy should be motivated because they're working hard and whomever is working hard they deserve a reward that's how you improve your society when somebody does well you reward him so that he can do better and other people can see that oh if i do this then i'll get this and they'll they'll continue in that footstep but if you keep discouraging people from working and even the ones that work they don't get anything then what's left everybody will be like okay if i don't work i don't get anything i starve if i work i don't get anything i starve okay i'll choose just laying around watching whatever i want to watch so i don't think this is a very productive and effective um and i think the authorities need to think about it twice and this is not just about zimbabwe farmers there are other african countries 
that don't pay their farmers well, you know, and that's not fair, especially when you know that there is a demand out there and they are paying up. It's just, it's not getting to the farmers that are the main people that bring us the raw materials. So anyways, guys, do let us know down below what your thoughts are about this uh, tobacco farmers in Zimbabwe pleading and begging the government to increase the price, at least to pay them in US dollars so that they can get profit. Let us know down below. I am Ungil Zalal, I'm bringing you the story. I will see See you on the next one. Bye. In search of a financial opportunity to pay off student loans, a young black American woman moves to South Korea to work. As the author, Bootsy W, recalls culture shock and fun adventures in a country far from home. She's also faced with anti-black racism and featureism, quickly learning that white supremacy is practiced not only by whites, but by those that are categorized as people of color. Based on her 10 years of living abroad, the book, Ego Igo, compares and contrasts Korea versus the United States on subjects such as code, communal living, racism, effective protests, global alliances, warrior class, music, political correctness, health, aging, money, and the coronavirus. This blunt memoir is uncomfortable, humorous, and educational. Help fight propaganda and mainstream agendas by picking up a copy of Ego I Go on Amazon.com. Thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and download the African Diaspora News Channel app, now available on Google Play and the Apple App Store.